tell you what, that was. Uh, I'm just I'm, ta I'm, I'm taking off the collared shirt and the announcer sleeve for a second. I'm just gonna be really honest. Dome, that was one hell of a show that you have seen here so far. That's right. We're gonna throw and, it down there to Blake as he's gonna try to catch up with Ryan. We'll slide over here and and Ryan. On behalf of the crowd here and everyone watching on Dirt on Dirt.com, thank you for putting on a great show. Wow, that was a hell of a ride, but. Uh, God damn it, we about won this son of a bitch. <laughs> well, it was good. It was really good, you know. Hats off to everybody here that's having to drive this track tonight. It's a lot of character. It's, it's really rough. Just has a mark on the Hoosier tire, but everything seems to be okay on Bell's 84. Yep. Yeah. Good job, Blake. Just knocked the uh, knocked the part off. There is Cannon. We'll see if Cannon's able to get out of the car here. A tough end to his night. Wow, bad break for Cannon. Had a good. up a Friday win and backs it up with a Saturday night $10,000 payday. I think that puts him at eight of nine wins in this car. His own car, the King Chassis. That's not bad. No, not at all. I'll take that winning percentage. 
Gonna make his way down to Sunoco Race Fields Victory Lane, and Blake will get a word for him. One more race here to go here tonight, the modified main event, but right now we head downstairs where Kyle Larson is $10,000 richer. Climb out of the car, make some noise for Young Money, Kyle Larson. Another big win. Boy, is he just cashed big check after big check after big check with this Lucas Oil iRacing McDonald's King Chassis 1K. Paul Silva's crew chief comes in. They have been a, a pretty lethal pairing since pairing up a couple years ago with the Wing Sprint Car Program. Of course, Paul kind of works as the team manager, general manager of Kyle Larson Racing that has Carson Macedo out running full time with the World of Outlaws. And he gets his Arizona Sport or Arizona Sports shirts hat and. Kyle, that seemed like one there in the first half. You really had to earn. The, it, once again, it seemed like the early restarts until you get to the lead, the, the 1K just didn't quite want to come to life. But boy, once you got to that lead, those restarts looked to come easy to you. Yeah, I actually felt pretty good from the start uh, when the track you know, was smoother and felt like I could run a lot of throttle through the corners. And, you know, Cannon getting to the lead early, I knew he was probably going to be the toughest uh, in the field there because he's really good at tracks where you have to bend it and um, get grip that way. So um, was surprised that I was able to get by him as early as I did. And then the track really started slicking, uh, getting slicker, and it actually made it a little easier for me to get through the holes. And I got a good rhythm going there that last run. And I uh, didn't want to see that, that last caution because I knew we'd be green and white together, and they'd probably throw something at me into one. But um, I, I messed up through the holes in the last lap, but still was able to have a big enough gap to uh, get the win, but um, yeah, I was sitting, getting ready to go out for the race and look around the stands. This is amazing to see uh, a packed place. I know the majority of you late model fans and modified fans, but it's cool that we get to uh, showcase what we can do in these little cars. So, um, you know, thanks for all you guys uh, do to support Grassroots Racing, uh, Cody Sommer and his, his whole crew. This is such an amazing event. You know, they work so hard on it. The track crew's been busting their bus just to try and give us the best track that we can get. So, um, did the hard work has been uh, awesome to see and uh, look forward to, to next year. You talk about rhythm. How hard is it to get into a rhythm when you have that many yellows in a race? Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, I felt like we had a nice little stretch there early, and then, yeah, lap 16 was, uh, was a tough one to get, uh, get done. But, um, you know, the track, with, with sitting that long, the track actually was going through a big change there. So um, it was... Uh, <laughs> Owen's got some water here for Dad. No, it was, uh, yeah, with the track sitting, it went through a big change. So uh, looking forward to this modified race. I know them guys will put on a good show. Kyle, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Owen poured the, Owen, Owen's going to walk over to mom, but Owen told me yesterday he'd talk if dad won. So we're, we're going to come talk to Owen here. An Owen, you told me yesterday you'd talk. Was that fun watching dad win? Uh -huh. See your favorite race car driver is Uncle Brad, your favorite. Mm -hmm. Dad. Who's better? Who's better, dad or Uncle Brad? I think you're going to say dad or are you going to Uncle Brad, Uncle Brad wins the big checks though, doesn't he, Owen? Uh, Owen, oh, I think we're going to go do a cage stand now. Audrey's even up. Little Audrey, she made it to victory lane. She looks tired. There. We're going to have to ask you to make some noise for Owen when he peeks his head up. There he is. Make some noise for Owen Larson. He even got the photox going. Blake, that's what it's all about, buddy. That is what it's all about. Did you, did you see on social media yesterday, Ben, that Owen did some practicing when they got back to the car? I did see that. I did see that. He's going to be doing a lot of that, the way that team's running right now. Eight of nine. And with that chili bowl coming up, you got to think Larson's looking for some redemption from this year. And he has got a lot of steam heading in there in a few weeks. Two laps to go.
takes the win. Yes, sir. Yeah. Superior Sales and Services, Toro Mowers, KBC Graphics, Rensselaer Iron and Metal Company, Talbert Manufacturing, Rocket XR1 by Ruhlman, Mullins Racing Engine 21, and what better way to end the weekend? We had a near photo finish in the late models and the mods here tonight. Yes, sir. What about that dome? Holy cow. Just when you thought it couldn't get any better, Derek Losh with a last turn, last lap pass is your 2019 Arizona Sports Church Gateway Dirt Nationals champion. It just doesn't get any better than that. What about it back straight away? Losh, Losh, <laughs> Losh, Losh. Here it is again on the FK Rod Ends Instant Replay, the final lap. Well, they both hit a lot of ruts on the final lap. We know that. And then I thought Losh was I, done right I, there. I did, too. I and, thought he lost all his and speed. And to his credit, he could have punted Bronson there, and he didn't. Turn back down the hill, and oh, no, said Bronson. You know, and Bronson, if he was just able to keep the car straight right there off four, that was certainly was his race to lose. And, and whatever he hit there didn't didn't agree with Guys, the race car. Guys, four years, four different winners in the mud. That's awesome. Tommy Seats Jr., Ray Bollinger, Mike Harrison, and tonight, Derek Wash, the Indiana racer, gets it done. He's going to head down to Sunoco Race Fuel's victory lane and get a word with Blake. And Blake, what a way to wrap up this weekend. Take it away. No kidding. What a finish there. Derek Wash taking the money home to the Hoosier State. It's Mullen. Race engines, rocket chassis rolls into victory lane. He has his racing electronics earbuds out, the helmet's off. Hans' device goes out, climbing out of the car. He can hear you, makes a noise for Derek Losh. <laughs> Crew down here celebrating this huge win that, boy, talk about a tumultuous Final lap, Dalton Bishop, one of the crew guys down here celebrating. And we'll get Derek into Snoka Racing Fuel's victory lane. He gets his Arizona Sports Shirts hat on. And the trophy makes its way as the family celebrates. He's kind of soaking it in right now, just letting her, letting her breathe a big win. Here he comes. Derek, the final lap. You're rolling into turn number three. Did you think you had any shot at sitting right here with, say, 100, 100 150 yards left in this race? No, I had about used up this race car on the top and myself, so uh, definitely those last few cautions saved us. I seen some steam blowing out of the his radiator there at the end, and I knew if I st stuck with him, he was probably trying to limp it to the end. So uh, I tried to get to his back bumper, fake him out on the top, and then I knew he was going to try to shut me off up there so we able to get back to the bottom and get past him coming to the line. Is that one of those deals where it's like a, a shark in bloody water when you start to smell the blood there? Well, I mean, at that point, we didn't have anything to lose, so uh, it was an easy decision for me, but uh, he did the right thing. I'd have done the same thing if I was leading. Congratulations on a huge win. You sure, certainly capped off the Arizona Sports Shirts Gateway Dirt Nationals presented by O'Reilly Auto Parts with an exclamation point. Man, th this place takes so much adversity for our team. Uh, you know, this is a hobby for us. We're not professional racers, so uh, to put a car together and come compete at this level with these guys, you know, that's, hat goes off to the crew back here. These four guys worked their butt off all weekend, and my girlfriend, and thanks to all our friends and family that came out to support us this weekend. Well, you are a Gateway Dirt Nationals champion. Congratulations, Derek. Feels great. Thank you. He's got the trophy of the arch. Makes a noise for Derek Lodge, your Gateway Dirt Nationals.